Uh, here we are at JEC on this Thursday morning broadcast, and uh, we get an opportunity now for one of our favorite segments. It's one of our favorite segments because it includes some of our favorite people. The Brewery Division uh, here at JEC uh, features um, a principal, Rabbi Joseph Oratz. Rabbi Oratz, welcome back to JM in the AM. Always a pleasure you saw to the rea- You saw my reaction oh, when you walked great. in the door. I love, love coming in to see I you. I always love reuniting with you. Thank you. Uh, Mrs. Aliza Blumenthal is here, Director of Student Life. Mrs. Blumenthal, how are you? Yeah. Nice to have you here. Our Good listeners morning. are always demanding that you be on the air more and more often. Totally. So I'm glad we're able to fulfill their wishes this morning. Nice to have you here. Uh, we have with us um, Shlomas Pikus, who is the, uh, help me with the proper title, the Associate Principal of Berea, correct? That's correct. And as we pointed out in the past, uh, your educational uh, legacy is pretty amazing. Daughter of Mrs. Newman, who I always cite as one of the greatest advocates of JM and the AM early on. She she saw the value of this show before anybody else did. She was a fan of yours from the beginning. She was incredible, and uh, we're always quoting her. The GEO president is here. Uh, That is um, Shlomit Waxberg. Shlomit, how are you? Good. Thanks so much for having me. Nice to have you here. And who am I missing? Who am I forgetting? Junior High. Um, junior high and coordinator. junior high coordinator Zahava Greenwald is here. Zahava, Hi. welcome to the show. We Thank have an you. entire panel of people representing Breweria High School. Rabbi Oratz, is Breweria off to a good start for 5777? Seven, seven, I've seven. got to tell you, Nachman, this is the most, this is absolutely the most unbelievable year. The energy that has been generated in this institution <laughs> is electric. It is so great to have everybody really moving in the same direction and Baruch Hashem Berea High School along with all the other, the, the other divisions, we're having a fantastic year. It's been awesome. We talk about the uh, reputation that JEC has in general and we know it's an amazing one. Uh, you have a uniqueness, I think, with Berea that it's just, it, it continues to spread far and wide, your reputation. You know, we had our professional development day the, um, on, on election day and I was just watching my faculty do their thing Um, Just be with each other, uh, share ideas with each other. That's without the kids being there. And then as soon as the (laughs) kids walk into the building, the place becomes an unbelievable unbelievable place for learning and for growing. It's really awesome. Love it. I don't know which of our panel are going to address each and every one of these issues where we could start. Uh, There was actually a live election debate, and we know how... We know how uh, fun those debates could be, especially in this election season that we all just enjoyed. What was that like? So we actually modeled it after a town hall meeting. Uh, Uh, We wanted to get as many questions in as possible. Um, We had uh, Assemblyman Gary Scher representing the Democrats. Good choice. We had a Trump advisor, uh, Commissioner Steve Rogers representing the Republicans. Nice. And we had a whole list of questions. I brought you some for later. You can read it through and enjoy. Um, yeah, I didn't get enough of this election, let me tell you. But these are student-generated, and they're uh, awesome. Okay. Um, and we ran it town hall style so we can get as many questions in as possible. And to make it clear, just so um, uh, it, it, people understand the difference of what you did compared to what I did, you concentrated on the issues as opposed to the personalities. <laughs> well, I, I got into trouble by concentrating on the personalities. You know, our, <laughs> our students are, for the most part, too young to vote. Maybe we have a uh, handful of students who are old enough. So how how could they get involved? This was an incredible classroom discussion at the, at the outset. They generated questions, um, and they asked we asked these questions of the two representatives. We also had um, our ASAC uh, committee heads present the platform's position on Israel, which mm. is uh, you know obviously a subject that our right. students were very interested in. And most important, because it made a difference in this election, we had a PowerPoint presentation prepared by our political science AP political science class on the electoral college process, because. Most people don't understand it and can't explain it, but right. it didn't and make again, a difference in this election. And again, we saw the popular vote was much um, different. The room was rocking. Red, white, and blue bunting, flags, kids <laughs> cheering. Uh, they came in wearing hats and T-shirts, and the energy was incredible. And they sat. They sat for over an hour listening to every single answer, um, and the conversation continued well after the program. All right. Uh, you mentioned cheering. I don't know. For some reason, it seems there's always cheering going on. Girls? In yeah. Duria. That's the way it seems to me. <laughs> uh, next on our list is the uh, Tehillah Mathon. This is in fact um, uh, this is in fact what made the uh, front page of the JEC Jewish Educational Center inaugural issue of the uh, newspaper that I have in front of me. Uh, this was done in memory of Joseph Wolf. I mean, somebody who is such an important figure uh, in the history of this institution right. and the community. Right. Every single year, what we 
do is we have before before Yom Kippur, we we get the kids together and we actually end up saying the Sefer of Tehillim over six times in a, in this span of about four to five minutes, the entire Sefer. Um, and this year, uh, in in memory of Joe Wolf, uh, we decided to dedic- dedicate uh, this, the monies that were that were. Uh, that were raised uh, towards uh, Tzedakah in his memory um, and actually Mark Wolf came and Mrs. Wolf came and, uh, and joined us uh, and Mark actually spoke for a couple of minutes. Uh, Joe Wolf really made a tremendous difference to Jewish education, to Jewish uh, values throughout the world and certainly to the JEC. So we felt it is certainly appropriate for us to, to honor him. And we sit here in the Sydney Wolf Gymnasium and we give a special shout out to the Wolf family who are so dedicated to so many community causes. And it's not easy. Anybody knows the history of Jewish philanthropy? It's not always easy to convince people how important Jewish education is. But boy, did this family get it. Yeah, they got it. Uh, pretty amazing. Um, are the, the parents of Halil Ariel were here? They were visiting JEC? They were visiting Beria? They came to Beria. That's they pretty am- For those who don't us. remember, of course, she was murdered by terrorists. And her whole story made such a worldwide impression on the Jewish world. Right, and her uh, parents, who are just the most amazing people, um, came to the area, came to really North America, and uh, told us when they walked into our building that we were the only school that they were coming to on their tour, on their speaking tour. Wow. And um, it was an amazing moment. Um, she, Mrs. Ariel said to me when she walked in the door, we were walking through the hallways, and she said, this is the type of school my daughter had been in. This is the type of school that my daughter would be in right now. Um, she brought her two other daughters with her and they were playing in the gym and they had an unbelievable day um, while the Ariels came and they spoke to us. I think what the girls really took from that day was, first of all, the first words out of Mrs. Ariel's mouth when she stood up uh, was she told us, do not be afraid to go to Israel. She says, I can tell you that because a very scary thing happened to me and my family and I want to tell you, please do not be afraid of going to Israel. And then she told, us, she, she told us about how the day happened, but she more talked about what happened afterwards and the chizuk that she gets from people. She talked about the week of Shiva, and she talked about all the people who visited. And she, she was really inspirational. The girls were just staring at her. We felt a unique presence in the room when she was there. And I told her afterwards when I you know, stood up and I thanked her in front of the students, in front of the students I told her that she gave of herself to us just now. And because of that, there are 360 girls that are going to try to emulate the midos that her daughter had in this world. And that although her daughter's presence in this world physically is not here, who she is is going to continue in these 360 girls who never met her. And it was an unbelievable morning. Talk about making an impression. And uh, those types of events, as, as um, difficult as it might uh, seem uh, to certain people, are life-changing events. You know this when you were a student. You know this as a, as a, as a teacher on this end now, that it's just uh, these are life-changing experiences that kids have. Yes, and I, I will tell you that as the students go through their time at Berea, we try and give them these moments so that it could take them um, into, their, into the next part of their life. At this past Shabbos, I had three graduates at my house for Shabbos. Three, it happens to be that they're from three different grades. So they were each talking about the things that they got hmm. uh, from the school and things that they remember. Some of them are things like this, that of course, right. you know, last year we had seven chayalim that came and spoke to us about the war, and it was amazing. So it's things that, of course, we know on paper the goal is to do that, and then there are things that we don't even realize that we're doing every single day that leave an impression on us. No, no question about it. We're with our entire panel from uh, Breweria here at JEC. Uh, Make Your Mark, who is addressing the issue of making your mark? That would be the GEO president. The GEO president is Shlomit Waxberg. Welcome again to the show. Thank you. What is Make Your Mark all about? Okay, so this year's GEO theme is Make Your Mark, and we're all about doing something to leave an impression, to do something with ourselves that to say we were here and we did something important. Um, So this year, the GEO, we included four committees onto the GEO. We have ASAC, which is the Israel Committee, Chesed, Sadaka, and Word Watch, which is Shmir Salashon. So now these four committees, which is what Berea stands for, are now on the GEO. So we're all together, and we're all about making our mark through the Chesed, through the ASAC, through all that we're doing. Um, 
it's great. Uh, I can only <laughs> imagine. I hear, I hear your enthusiasm. They came up with a great idea just to put, put those two things together. Um, you know, we dab, when we, on Rosh Chodesh, when we daven together, um, the girls sing Hallel together. And this year they, they chose to dedicate um, every Hallel on Rosh Chodesh to Hallel Ariel. Um, and to really sing with enthusiasm and, and remember her so that their tefillos are, are actually as chus for her. So it was really qu- quite, quite amazing of making your mark. Uh, Zahava Greenwald is here, junior high coordinator. Oh, you have the opportunity to, uh, to uh, deal with students at a very interesting age every single day, am I right? Yes, yes. I actually, you know, a, a, a metaphor which is commonly used to describe the middle school years <laughs> as a bridge. Right. And if you think about it, it's actually a great comparison. Our goal in these two years of junior high is to really help each student through this transitional stage. And um, we build upon the foundation they received in their elementary school years and, and take them to the next step preparing them for high school. So whether it be curricular or programming, we always have this goal in mind, really helping our students grow and develop so that they can be well prepared for the next stage in their lives. Why does your department have such a reputation for innovation? (laughs) Yes, that's certainly true. I really believe that we can model innovation to our students as teachers by learning and growing professionally, embracing new methods in the classroom, whether it be integrating technology or creating student-centered classrooms. I myself and Chamish have started using flipped instruction with marvelous results. And I think this sets a standard for our students. You know, we're, we're showing them by example what it means to innovate and we encourage them as well to think creatively, to um, bring new ideas to the table, to collaborate. And in fact, over the past few years, we've started committees, after school clubs, um, chesed programs, really just because a student or a parent or a teacher had a great idea. Um, Sounds like an early on high school experience, essentially. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely something, you know, we, we benefit from being together yeah. with the high school in that way. Um, so. I think, again, there's much to be, you know, there's a lot to be gained from embracing innovation, both in ourselves and in our students. Very nice. Anything else you'd like to add? Um, I guess I'd just like to end off by saying that this two-year transitional journey of junior high is incredible. And um, when I think of my students as they enter seventh grade, and then the um, amount of change that takes place in those two years as they enter high school, it's, it's incredible. Um, there's growth on so many levels, cognitively, socially, spiritually. So to me, it's a privilege to be part of this journey together with my students. Oh, excellent. Sounds amazing as Berea and in this case, the junior high always seems to. Uh, Rabbi Joe Oratz, uh, Mrs. Aliza Blumenthal, Mrs. Shlomas Pikes, the GO President Shlomit Waxberg, and Junior High Coordinator Zahava Greenwald. Thank you all very, very much. Thank you. Our best regards to Bruria. Thank you, Nachum, for as, having us. As, a Thank pleasure you. to have you.